That looked pretty good. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super stoked because we got a brand new graphics card. Picked this up on the uh, Facebook Marketplace today. It's a Radeon RX 560. Um, so it's an overclocked edition, 4 gigabytes of RAM, um, or RAM, DDR5, sorry, 4 gigabyte memory is what this runs. Two HDMI slots so I can run both monitors. And the bonus now is I can render and edit videos quicker to get more content out. The other thing is nice about this is the fact that I can now play two screens while recording um, so I can get better footage of the wheel. Um, so we'll add a little bit of footage in here and I'll show you how much smoother it's going to be. I'm super excited to put this in. So let's, let's uh, open it up and slap it in there. First off, I know it's weird. Um, it's supposed to be a car channel, Spax Garage, but we're gonna be working on a computer today, just switching out the card just so I can show a couple guys how to do it um, if they were interested. But uh, essentially you have um, your motherboard, which is this whole backing piece. On your motherboard, there's a card slot. So this is my GTX 710 that's currently in here. And so literally all you have to do uh, is grab a Phillips head, unscrew it, push down this lever and it pulls it out. Once you have that lever pushed down, the whole thing will actually just slide out once you have the screw completely removed. And that's it, look, graphics card removed. So that's a 710 Zontac, Zontac, I have no idea. Anyways, I'll show you the difference between this card and the other one. And it's as simple as just literally sliding it in just like we did. Um, so all CPUs, or not all CPUs, uh, sorry, all motherboards will have these two slots. This one takes two graphic card slots. Um, some will have one, but this particular model has a two. So I'm just gonna be using the top one again and putting the new card in. So here's the fancy new unit, the uh, RX 560 4 gigabyte. So it's got two uh, dual fans on it, um, and then on the back side you have uh, DVI, two HDMI slots. And so if you compare it to the old one, it's quite a bit bigger, um, and it'll definitely have a lot more potential to it. So we're just gonna pull off this sleeve here, and literally take the unit and put it in. And you just apply pressure to it when you push and it snaps in place. Put your screw back in here, wherever it went. There you go, graphics card installed. Super, super easy um, to do. Now that it's installed, you literally just boot this back into your computer, turn everything on, it'll ask you, um, you know, is your graphic card changed? You can see us, you say yes. Um, once it's plugged in, download the software for it and it'll automatically read it and it's done. So we're going to test this out. We're going to go into a video game now and try out the beautiful wheel. Check it out. Try that out. Dotson, you want to give it a go? You want to give the wheel a go? Huh? Do you want to give it a go too? Good boy. Good boy. Hey guys. Okay, we're on the computer now. Everything loaded up. Um, all I did was download the new software from AMD's website. It literally took maybe half an hour to load back up. It's working super smooth. I've never seen the game run this nice before on this computer. So we're just going to select the car, which I might try and use the same one I was using when we lagged in the last video. And then we'll pick the same track so we can kind of feel that out because that's the last track I played. If I can ever find it. There it is. We'll start the race. Let's see how buttery smooth this is. I'm actually super excited to, to feel it here. So we'll select the drift setup and load that. Up the gears a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. Wow, it's like, oh my, this is amazing. But we accidentally have traction control on, so let's just go around the, the lab here quick. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> oh, it's so smooth. This is amazing. But we're gonna have to take charge control off. Let's just quickly restart. Okay, it's 
totally working out. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, it's super smooth. It's it's actually it feels more realistic now because of how smooth it is. Wow. I thought I just really sucked at the game before. I think it's... Well, I still am not great, obviously, but... Oh, yes! It's so easy to control! <laughs> yes! Woo! I, I feel like it's Christmas today, even though it's a couple weeks before. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Oh... Okay, we gotta link. We gotta link a whole whole track here. Let's go into third gear here. Pull it up. E brake on top corner. Down. Ah, oh, too far. <laughs> okay, I spoke too soon. Okay, we're gonna try link it starting here. Oh, too much already. Oh, this is so good. Why didn't I buy a graphics card way in advance? <laughs> it's so fun. I can't even like control how how much fun I'm having. Oh my. Okay. Let's just see what it's like just driving it. I might have to actually increase the uh um what do you call it? The force feedback? Just because it is, it's almost too soft. Like in real life, like it's a, it's not as as floaty as this feels. But so far, so good, I think. It's crazy how how cool this feels. I I can't even explain it. Let's go to the parking lot up here. There we are. Get used to the wheel a bit here. Do some figure eights maybe. Oh yes, this is so smooth. Who knew a graphics card could make somebody's day? Let's try out some uh, interior view here. Hang on. There we go. A little bit more realistic. I'm not sure what's up with the mirrors. It's got like uh, reverse and right. It's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, we're just gonna rip out onto track now. This is too good. Oh my, this is so good. <laughs> oh, for the day I was having, this is this has just made everything ten times better. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! If I was on this track in real life, I, th I bet the same thing would happen. I'd probably lose the wheel and just smack the wall. I need to get some real practice hours in this winter, and then, and then come next summer, I can maybe drift a little bit better. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's try another track. This thing's pretty badass. I like this car. Yeah, let's go with this car. We're going right into Manami here. I'm stoked. Okay, let's see what we're at for boost. Turbo. Let's do maybe start with 70%. And we're going to go start with the outside view just to get used to the car and its weight. So what this track is, it's a massive... Uh, um, it's a remake of Manami from Japan so like this is where you'd slide and smoke the wall so what we're gonna do is is uh, go around wow this is a nice car this one drives really fun so we're 
we're gonna take the shortcut here. And then we're just gonna hit the jump. We're gonna see if we can do it first try. Ah, too much! My whole desk shook! <laughs> it's second gear. No messing around. Nope! Yep! Bad news bears! Oh, I'm throwing it way out to the to the far side there. Okay, let's give her a go. There we go. Hit the line. Just need to be a bit closer to the wall next time. So it's definitely that last car. I just couldn't handle it. Couldn't control it yet. Need to get the that straightened out. A third gear over the hill, closer to the wall this time. Too close. That looked pretty good. Hey, okay, well, I think that is enough for this video. I could obviously drift for hours on end, and I'm probably going to continue drifting. Um, if there's any tracks or any cars that you guys have on a set of courses, or if you guys also have online, have never played with any other people, I think it'd be kind of fun. Um, hit me up um, in the comments. We can definitely do some races, some tandems, whatever, whatever we want. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, and thank you for also hitting 100 subscribers again. It means a lot to me. And I'm super excited that I have this new graphics card. I'm hoping the new video while I'm editing this one will go pretty smooth. Uh, but we'll go from there. Thanks again, guys, and have a good night. Talk to you.